Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. This is your favorite infotainment show, Hot and Juicy, and I am here, Miss Ming, to give you everything that happened during the week. Take the best position wherever you're watching us presently, and let's get it popping with the first segment of this program. Go nowhere. I'll be right back. Grammy Award winning Nigerian superstar Bonner Boy wins the BET Award for the third time consecutively. He won in 2019, 2020 and in 2021 presently in the Best New Act category. What should our Cameroonian artists learn from this? Even a nomination they are unable to grab. What should they learn from this? Cameroon's government will never stop disgracing us. You're still wondering why some of our Cameroonian artists find difficulties in winning international awards like BET, Grammy Awards, right? This is because on the first note, the system isn't favorable at all. Can you imagine that in a country like Cameroon, artists are unable to touch 200,000 francs as copyright royalties? What a shame, what an embarrassment, what a disgrace at a particular extent. Like for a country like Cameroon, which is considered Africa in miniature, a country of great legends, a country which is super rich, a host of Cameroonian artists flooded the internet this week showing off what they received as copyright royalties from Sonakam, which is a body controlled by the Ministry of Arts and Culture. And it's shocking, it's alarming that no artist could boast of receiving 200,000 francs. We have a legend like Annie Anzwe who received 45,000 francs. Can you imagine? 45K for an artist of that caliber. Couple two was paid uh, 45,000 francs and was forced to open a, was forced to open an account which was almost 5,000 francs, meaning he had 40k back home. And we equally have Jenny Gento who received uh, 117,000 francs. I think that's probably the highest amount I heard on this saga. So very furious, very embarrassed about this. This is what uh, Annie Anzwe took to her personal uh, social media handles to say. Oui, Dieu merci, je reviens de Visio Finance pour prendre mon, mon salaire de, ap, après un an des droits. Voilà ce que j'étais prendre à Visio Finance par rapport à mes droits d'auteur en tant que l'une des meilleures chanteuses du Cameroun. Voici ça. C'est beaucoup d'argent. Je vais acheter le terrain, je vous dis. <rire> je construis la maison et enfin, je vais avoir une maison. Merci beaucoup. Merci le Cameroun. This is embarrassing, right? I even heard that there were some artists who were paid 1,800, 1,600. I don't know if this is true. On the other hand, I think this is a way for the government to support these artists because this is not happening in other countries. From my research, anyways, you can prove me wrong. This is just a way for the government to support these artists, to appreciate and recognize all the efforts they put in the betterment of the Cameroon entertainment industry. But at the particular point, guys, should be told, the amount they receive, it's embarrassing. It was a very embarrassing weekend for this particular couple in Yaoundé. What happened? After doing Can We Stay for 18 years and making six amazing children, the man decided to legalize his wife. In case of planning for the wedding, they all agreed to go in for a polygamous matrimonial regime, according to report. So on the wedding day, in the wedding hall, the officiating mayor asked them the regime they were going in for. The man said polygamy and the woman said monogamy. She insisted and stood by it. Monogamy. Polygamy. And you, mademoiselle? You see why I said that I don't want my wife. Do you understand? No. Because I knew that it would finish like that. Maman, quand vous dites monogamie, c'est pas toi qui te maries, ce sont eux. Laisse-les choisir. Alors lui dit polygamie, elle dit monogamie. Unable to come to a compromise, the officiating mayor cancelled the wedding. Can she fight? Yes, we will marry the pair. We will be happy. We will enjoy the soir, my friend. 
Okay, now the wedding has been cancelled. What happened to all the expenses made for the reception? I mean, for the food, the drinks. So the man decided to take his guests to the reception. And in course of doing that, he called his Njumba, the woman he was planning to take as second wife. So when the woman came, the guy proposed to her, gosh, this gender, this other gender, they will never stop disgracing us. So the side chick accepted his proposal. Gosh, come and see kissing and romancing. Ha! Content rated 18. Check this out. You see, when we tell you not to trust the other gender, you say, no, c'est rien, je maîtrise. <laughs> Reports from the other side say the man and the woman agreed to sign monogamy. Because after the cut wedding on that day, there was a church wedding planned immediately. And we all know that in church, we don't sign polygamy, right? So I believe this other version. Why did the man change his mind on that very day when the lady was there and her entire family? Why choose to embarrass her in such manner? I don't understand because before the court wedding, the man had already paid the lady's bright price, which was 7 million francs CFA. So why embarrass her in such manner? I think that was very mean. And I don't know if that was confusion or mere wickedness. Tell me what you think about this in the comment section. After living with a woman for 18 years and she giving you six amazing children, you embarrass her in such manner. Guys, how will you react to such? Let me know in the comment section. Still talking about scandalous events, a 16 years old girl had the biggest disgrace of her life ever. <laughs> This happened in the University of Boya. So a young lady borrowed from her two friends. From one she borrowed a wig, from the other she borrowed a watch. I don't know exactly for how long she borrowed it nor the terms of their agreement. From this video, I saw two ladies attacking the other. So they surprised her on the day. I think she was writing exams that day. So the one who borrowed her a wrist watch forcefully removed it and the one with the wig equally removed it by force. What a shame, what a disgrace, what an embarrassment. I don't know who was wrong here or who was right. It is time for us to bring in our guests to discuss on this because this topic is extra hot. My guest for today is a super talented Cameroonian comedian. He goes by the name Tenzo. Let's welcome him. <laughs> hey Tenzo. Yo, Miss Beng. What's up? How you doing? No, I'm good. I'm good. Hope you're good too. Hope you're good. I'm fine too. Welcome on Hot and Juicy. Ah, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for having me as well. Okay. Thanks for me. Talking about scandalous events, especially this one which happened at the University of Boya with this young girl having the disgrace of her life. What do you think about such? <laughs> Okay, actually, <laughs> the thing is, uh, when, you, when you want to borrow stuff, actually, you should know the kind of people that you borrow stuff from. You understand? Because some kind of friend, they were, hey, as they borrow, so they juggle, announce, announce, announce. Or if you, if you just vex, then they just say, give my thing, give my thing. You understand? And I should say that girl run him up in that class. You understand? No, he run him up, coach that your friend. Your friend say, eh, move my wig, he, he call you. So you, you see, but, but that was not cool. That was not cool, though. Whatever problem they had, she would have waited then. They can settle it later. They get a CB, you understand? I mean, what's even the issue with all this begging, begging? Can't girls just learn how to be contented <laughs> with what they have? What's that? You begging, you begging, begging issue. You worry. You I, I go, I go hard for stop. Eh? You go hard for stop because the whole streets now are like borrow, 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 borrow. If you support it, they blast that girl. Say go borrow week. Then two they borrow, 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 borrow. Now borrow side don't more fun enough. Borrow, borrow, borrow the whole place. <laughs> Alive. No easy, no easy. Even about managing your stuff, master. You manage how we did, but you see some shoe where you really taste. Yeah, you understand? You are playing for your program. You beg your man now. Say, hey. But it depends on the pool where you go borrow from. Because some pool they do, you borrow as, as you post the picture, put one over like the picture, you just can't tell. You say, hey, now my shoe, now my shoe. You understand? What's your advice to both parties? <laughs> The only advice we have to give the, 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 both the borrower and the borrowee, you understand? The person will go borrow. Know the kind of person you go borrow from. You need to know your friend and way you know, understand on yourself, some level, you understand? See, the man enter school in Beyonce, but he come all in Mary, Mary 100, he did back 100 for my 17. You see, I know. So, you need to know your friend the way you borrow from. 
Yes. And it's in that. And when you borrow from person, you get to be nice with that person till you refund the thing. You understand? You don't go run your mouth for person, you don't borrow your shoe. You go vex move the shoe for straight. You understand? And the man too, where you go move shoe, at least consider. If you don't vex now, ha, go back for house, don't even fight. But for day, don't move the thing, master. It's embarrassing. <laughs> now, all the advisor have to get it because it worry. <laughs> Oh, thank you for enlightening us, Denzo. Thank you for coming to my show. Okay, 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 Miss Beng. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I go by the name Tenzo, official Tenzo96. That's my Instagram handle. Um, people know me as Enlighten Me Daddy, the Enlightenment Daddy. He called call fears. Stay there in the dark. Let me enlighten you. <laughs> what the actual fear? <laughs> what the wow? What's like, get, get, <laughs> get out. <laughs> you understand? Okay, guys, you can follow Tenzo on all social media handles. He's on Facebook, he's on Instagram, official Tenzo. While others are fighting for their jewels, others are fighting for food. <laughs> A man cuts off his fiance's leg because of food. Chai, this gender again. Because of mere spaghetti, I mean spaghetti, simple spaghetti that costs 300, 350 francs on the market. A man identified as Ngo Jean Polo is presently hearing hot at the police custody. This is what happened. After his wife, Akono Sabine, made him spaghetti at the eve of the incident, he ate the spaghetti and asked the fiance to keep the rest in the fridge so that he could come back the next day from work and eat. I don't know if it is unfortunately for him or unfortunately for the wife because of what happened to her. So when their children came back, they were very hungry. So they took the spaghetti and ate. So when the man came back, very furious, he noticed it, he questioned his wife. And despite the explanations uh, she gave to him, the man still went on to beat her severely and went as far as using the matchet to cut off her leg. See, I'm shocked. Like, I'm short of words. This is another domestic violence, something we are fighting to eradicate, but this other gender will not let it go. Grammy Awards winning Cameroonian world music artist Wes Matigo is no more. This is a great loss to the Cameroon music industry. Wes, as popularly called, was a multi awards winner and he had such an amazing discography. He passes away at the age of 57. What a great loss. He will definitely be missed, but his music keeps us company. May he so rest in peace. That's all we have for the first segment of this program, guys. Don't forget to let me know what you think about averages in the comment section. And if you're watching us for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button. It's time for us to have it more entertaining. And let's get it popping with the top 10 hottest songs this week. Popping up at the 10th position is this beautiful brand new release from Cameroonian artist Shiperi. The title of the song is Advance. Watch and enjoy. La vie c'est la vie, tous les temps sont dus. I get my money, you get your money. One top and dry the fail, and no love and lies in it. One top and dry the fail, love and lies in it. La vie c'est devant, avance moi j'avance. Our number 9 video is coming straight away from Cameroonian artist KZ West Beats and the title of the song is One Nobody. step, two step, just why a waste for me, oh From 6 to 6, we gon' break that body, oh I be your pain killer Nobody, nobody, no I be your god sealer Popping up at the eighth position is this beautiful song from Ego Pride. Title of the song is OG. I had to go through. Ever before came a breakthrough. I'm not a statue. Why you they look me like? Occupying our seventh position, we have Cameroonian artist Young Kato with this beautiful brand new release titled Our Time. Our number sixth video of the week is coming straight away from David Fidel. Title of the song is Queen.
Popping up at the fifth position is this beautiful song titled Black Alejandro from Cameroonian artist Dreddy Christ. Our number fourth video of the week is titled So Fly from Cameroonian music group No Formula. I do anything just to keep my place. I know they can never ever take my space. Whenever you need me, call my name. Gonna be there just to hold you tight. Gonna be there just to fight your fight. True love never dies, so I stick with you. Popping up at the third position is this beautiful collabo song from Cameroonian artist Breezy Guy featuring Abbe Rogers. The title of the song is Eagle Occupying our second position is this beautiful collabo song. Cameroonian artist Shengai Ola, featuring Nigerian artist Walakao. The song is titled Kawi Ola. Topping our top 10 hottest songs this week is this beautiful song coming from Cameroonian artist Minx, which is an extract from his recently released album Urban Bantu. The song is titled Pay My Shows. Watch and enjoy. Welcome back to this other exciting segment of Hot and Juicy. On our pick of the week, we have those beautiful photos from UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis Ngannou, on set for the movie Fast and Furious 9, which is number one movie in the world presently, and it's available in all theaters. Francis Ngannou keeps making us proud every day. This is where we draw the cartoons for today's episode of Kamehameha's number one infotainment show, Hot and Juicy. I was your host, Miss Bang. But before we go, a big congratulations to Cameroonian artist Mr. Leo, who has just been made an official member of the Grammy Recording Academy class of 2021. Big up, Mr. Leo. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you think about today's episode in the comment section. For more information on Cameroon's entertainment industry, follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, 237 Showbiz. And don't forget to subscribe to our Telegram channel. If you're on Telegram, search us, it's 237 Showbiz. And follow our new division, 237 Showbiz Studios. See you guys next week. Do have a great weekend.